Growing up, it has always been my dream to become a millionaire. I mean, who else won't dream that? But life in the Philippines wouldn't allow me to reach that dream easily. So, would living in New York be the answer? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Living in New York City is really pocket exhausting. So for today's vlog, we will talk about my spending pattern here in New York for a month. But for now, we will dig deeper on three biggest factors. Housing, transportation, and food. If you want to cut big on expenses and save big, technically, the three biggest factors that we could focus on are housing, food, and transportation. We could check our spending on these factors if we want to save more. Housing for me is the biggest contributor to my expenses. I'm currently living in this $5,000 worth apartment in Manhattan. Luckily, it is paid by my company. I'd be moving out next week to a $3,000 worth apartment that I would split with two other roommates outside of NYC. The tip here is to find a location where it has a lower cost, although far, but you can commute easily. And the second one is to find good roommates.
as of filming this vlog, I do not pay for electricity and gas and water, but I do recommend budgeting $30 to $80 per month if you have to account for that. In terms of budgeting for food, as mentioned in my previous vlog, I allot $50 to $80 for my groceries and that's for two weeks. But of course, I also give an allowance of $100 to $150 per month to eat outside. Luckily, my company do not require us to go to the office, so I could cut a big chunk of my expenses from transportation. For a month, I only spent around $50 on subways which cost $2.75 each trip.
Working all day, working for my wage. I've been trying so hard to get over the line, but I need to get my pay. I wish there was another way.